Hey, what's going on guys? It's Sniper Mike here, and today I have you episode 2 of my Minecraft Blender rig series of how to make your Minecraft rig. So, in this tutorial I'll be showing you of how to make face rig for your character with shape keys. So, what we're going to do, if you haven't watched my episode 1, I highly recommend watching it, so you can follow it. So, um, we select the head, go into edit mode, and press W to subdivide. So instead of doing the control R trick and doing seven, we can just go subdivide, subdivide, subdivide three times. So now you'll notice everything is lined up properly. Now you'll notice with my skin, I have one block eye, high eyes, and two block mouth. So I'm just gonna quickly um, select the eyes and then ex uh, sorry I'm just going to select the eyes and then go into right view numpad 3 go into ed um, wireframe mode and then I'm just going to extrude them in by point 2 then another point 2 then all the way to halfway so now it sort of like bevels inside. I'm just going to turn off x-ray for this. It's a bit distracting. So now we'll just have to fix up the textures. So these textures here, just like these ones here, they are going to be a skin color. So what I usually do, if you noticed before, I have like a little color map up here so that's my hair eye color um, like inside the eye and then around the eye tongue teeth mouth mouth and that's for my hat so I'm just gonna select these meshes scale it to zero and move it over to the eye area now what we're gonna need to do now is just select inside all of the eye like so and scale that to zero and move it to the eye area even if you don't have... ooh a terabyte no I'm kidding even if you don't have a texture map you can just use the colors on the actual face here but I like using a texture map it helps a lot so now we have um, a Herobrine looking character because he has no pupils so what we're going to do now is make some pupils so what I usually do is just select a mesh up here, duplicate it, move it down to round about where it's going to be, and then I'll just move it out, and then you just retexture it to the right color. There we go. And then make sure it's extruded, except you have to extrude it that way. So now we have what looks to be like an eye <laughs> and I'm just going to select all this move it back in into his eye area make a duplicate so now he looks a lot more human now with his eyes so now I'm just going to do the same method but this is for the eyebrows so Scale that, and then I'll move it to here. I'm not sure what style. I'll just do my style eyebrows. My style eyebrows I like the most. And then we'll just make a duplicate. Chuck it there. So now we have eyebrows, and now for the for the mouth. This is the one where it gets a bit complicated. So I'll just select a usual character's mouth goes for four pixels wide. So that's fine. So I'm just gonna oops extrude it in point two, then point two, then I'm gonna extrude it back to here, and then what I'm gonna need to do is select the mouth top of the mouth, extrude that up to there, 
and then extrude that down to there and then select the sides, extrude that out. So now he has a mouth inside him. <laughs> that sounded really derpy. And we'll just select all these meshes to retexture them. Don't really need to bother about um, the textures on, like, I'll just go perspective view, like in here, along there. Like, see, I can't really select them too well, and you're not going to see them ever, really. I'll just scale them down, chuck them over to the mouth area. So now it looks alright. Now, next thing I'm going to do is for the teeth and the tongue. This it's a bit hard to work with, um, like duplicating it in here. So I'm just going to add a new mesh as a cube. Oops. Scale that to 0 0.1, so that's one pixel. Make a duplicate. This one's going to be for the tongue. So make sure that's. there make it tongue color and this one teeth color so what I usually do is scale that one down to 0.5 then 2 then 3 so that looks like a tongue and it's it's actually really easy to just model like just out of him it's really a lot easier. And then his teeth. Then we, we can basically just chuck them into into his mouth. You can just chuck them how you want. and make sure they're in the right position. So yeah, now my character has teeth and junk, except make sure it's all selected, join it up, and then join it to the original mesh. Like that. So now it's all in one mesh. Now this is the bit where it gets a bit tricky. I'll just rename this to head. Oh, I forgot to do that. This bit is where it gets a bit tricky, so we need to work with shape keys. So if we make new shape key. This one's going to be called, um, I'm just going to do a simple one for now. Eye bra uh, no, not our Eye shut. So this is going to make the eyes shut. So, how I like doing eyes, um, you probably don't, not sure if you would like it, since there's a lot of views. I just select those meshes up there, extrude it down to there. So now, his eyes will shut like that. Ta-da! and then we can just repeat that so make sure you make a new one, I'll just do this mouth shut Oops. now for this one I usually just get the meshes and I don't extrude it because it makes it look really unneat I'll just grab it and textures do deform a bit but oh well YOLO, just YOLO it and yeah, you can keep doing that for the rest of the things, so then we can make his eye. Make sure you select all of the mesh. Eye. Let's just do that. I move right. So now his eye moves right. But another thing we can do, just do eye move, and then change minimum to negative one, so now we can move it both ways instead of doing I move left, I move right, blah 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 blah, like that. So that will help a lot. So yeah, now you can um, just continue doing that, rig your face fully however you want. You don't have to do teeth, mouth, eyebrows even, except that look a bit weird. You don't even have to do the teeth or anything, so yeah. Um, next tutorial, um, I'll have something in the, in the 
outro. I don't know what I'm going to do. So, um, like I said last episode, if this helped you, please leave a like. Um, it really helps me motivate mate, to make more tutorials. And I know I'm helping people. And also, if you subscribe, it will tell you when I upload, which would be good. So you can stay up to date with my tutorials. So thanks for watching this tutorial. Thanks for watching. See you guys later.